Scene Script Imagine waking up one day to find that the world as you know it has ended and in its place a zombie apocalypse has begun. What would you do? This isn't the opening line of a dystopian novel but rather a hypothetical scenario that we're going to explore together. Now, we're not predicting a zombie apocalypse. But, if it were to happen, wouldn't you want to be prepared? The key to surviving any crisis, including a zombie apocalypse, lies in preparation and planning. Our world is filled with uncertainties and the idea of a zombie apocalypse, while far-fetched, serves as a metaphor for any unforeseen disaster that could disrupt our lives. To survive in this new world, you'll need more than just luck. You'll need a plan, a survival plan. A survival plan is a comprehensive strategy designed to keep you safe and alive. It's about more than just finding a safe location or gathering supplies, though those are important aspects. It's about understanding the environment, acquiring survival skills, maintaining your health, both physical and mental, and most importantly, remaining adaptable to changing situations. In the face of a zombie apocalypse, your survival plan would need to address immediate action, such as finding a safe and defensible shelter and gathering a trustworthy survival group. It would also cover essential supplies, including food, water, medical supplies, and tools for repairs and defense. Your plan would need to detail your weapon strategy for defense, from melee weapons for close combat, firearms for long-range defense, to improvised weapons from everyday items. Regular weapon maintenance would be a critical part of this strategy. Your long-term survival strategies would include sustainable food sources, fortifying your shelter, establishing communication methods with other survivors, and planning for mobility and transportation. Health and hygiene would be vital to prevent infections and diseases. You would also need to consider your mental health, allocating time for rest and activities that help maintain your sanity. Incorporating basic survival skills and knowledge of your environment into your plan would be essential. Establishing or joining a community and engaging in trade and barter would increase your survival chances. Finally, staying informed about the zombie threat and having backup plans for unforeseen circumstances would be crucial. Your survival depends on your preparedness. Let's delve into the survival plan. First things first, you need to find a safe location and trustworthy companions. In the quickly changing world of a zombie apocalypse, safety becomes a relative term. Yet, finding a secure, defensible shelter is your best bet. Think of places that are easy to fortify, hard to breach, and offer a good vantage point. But even the most secure fortress won't be enough if you're going it alone. That's where a survival group comes in. Teaming up with trustworthy individuals, ideally those with various skills, can drastically improve your odds of survival. Remember, there's strength in numbers. Having others around can help in defending your shelter, gathering supplies, and even offering emotional support in these challenging times. The key here is balance. You need a safe location that provides protection and a group that you can rely on for survival. Now that you've got a safe place and a team, it's time to gather essential supplies. In survival, resources are everything. It's a truth as old as time, and in a world where every day is a fight to see the next, it's one that holds even more weight. So, let's talk about what you'll need to keep on keeping on. First things first, we're talking about food and water, not just anything you can scrounge up, but non-perishable items that can last you through the long haul. Think canned goods, dried fruits, grains and beans, and water clean and plentiful. You'll need a steady supply to stay hydrated and to cook those beans you've got stockpiled. Now, let's not forget medical supplies. Injuries are par for the course in our new world, and you'll need a well-stocked first aid kit to patch yourself up. Bandages, antiseptics, painkillers, and necessary medications. These are your best friends. And don't forget a good pair of tweezers for those pesky splinters. But what about the things you need to fix up more than just yourself? Tools for repairs are as essential as anything. A good multi-tool can be a lifesaver. And don't underestimate the power of duct tape. You're not just surviving, you're maintaining. And then, the big ones, weapons. You'll need something for the you with those close encounters like a sturdy baseball bat or a sharp machete. For the distant threats, firearms are your go-to. But keep in mind, ammo is limited, and the noise can attract unwanted attention. And don't overlook the power of improvisation. A well-placed pipe bomb or a Molotov cocktail can do wonders in a pinch. Regardless of what you choose, keep them in good condition. A weapon is only as good as its maintenance. And remember, these aren't just for fighting off the undead. You're defending your resources, your shelter, and your life. Remember, supplies are crucial, but so are the means to defend them. It's a delicate balance.
but one you'll need to master if you're planning on sticking around in this brave new world. When the undead are knocking at your door, you'll need something more than harsh words to fend them off. Defense is crucial and weapons are your best friends. Let's start with melee weapons. They're great for close combat, and they're quiet too. Think baseball bats, machetes, axes, next we have firearms. They're perfect for long-range defense, but remember they're noisy and ammo is limited. Use them sparingly. Handguns, shotguns, rifles, choose what suits you best. Now, there's also a place for creativity. Ever thought of everyday items as weapons? Pipe bombs, Molotov cocktails, you name it, they can all be improvised weapons. But remember, a weapon is only as good as its maintenance. Regularly clean, repair, and check your weapons to ensure they're ready when you need them. With your arsenal ready, it's time to think about long-term survival strategies. Scene script. Surviving the immediate threat is one thing, but what about the long haul? When the world around you is in chaos, it's crucial to think ahead. Long-term survival strategies are key to outlasting any zombie apocalypse. First on the list, sustainable food sources. While a stockpile of canned goods and bottled water can tide you over initially, it won't last forever. Consider setting up a small garden if you're in a secure location. Even a few pots on a windowsill can yield herbs and vegetables. Foraging might be an option too, but remember it's a risky business. Every venture outside your safe place exposes you to potential threats. Next, let's talk about your shelter. It's not just a place to rest your head. It's your fortress, your sanctuary. Fortify it. Reinforce doors and windows, set up traps, and always have a plan B for when plan A fails. Think like the enemy. Where are your weak spots? How would you get in if you were a zombie? Patch those holes. Tighten those defenses. Communication is vital. Establish methods to reach out to other survivors. Two-way radios, flares, coded messages. It could be anything. The goal is to create a network, share information, and maybe, just maybe, find a glimmer of hope. Finally, mobility and transportation. In a world overridden by the undead, you can't afford to be a sitting duck. Secure a reliable vehicle for emergency relocation. Always keep it fueled and in working condition. While you're at it, map out multiple escape routes. Know your territory like the back of your hand. But remember, survival isn't just about the physical, it's about the mental as well. In the face of a zombie apocalypse, it's easy to lose sight of the fact that we're human. We need rest, relaxation, and a sense of normality. So take a moment, breathe, and remember. Surviving isn't just about living through the day, it's about living for the days to come. In the midst of survival, it's easy to forget about health and hygiene, yet these aspects are just as crucial as your food and water supply. Without proper hygiene, you risk contracting infections and diseases, which can turn a survival situation into a dire one. It's essential to keep yourself clean, especially in wounds and scratches, to prevent any infection. In the same vein, mental health cannot be overlooked. The constant stress and fear can take a toll on your psychological well-being. Allocate time for rest and mental health activities. Find solace in the small joys, a moment of laughter, a good night's sleep, a peaceful sunset. These can do wonders for your mental strength. Remember, in the harshest of circumstances, your health isn't just physical. It's a balance of body and mind, strength and resilience, grit and grace. Survival isn't just about having the right supplies and strategies. It's also about having the right skills and knowledge. In a zombie apocalypse, knowledge is as valuable as any weapon. This might sound like a cliché, but when we're talking about a survival situation, it's the absolute truth. Let's start with basic survival skills. First aid, self-defense, and basic mechanics are crucial. Knowing how to bandage a wound or mend a broken bone can be the difference between life and death. Self-defense skills are essential, not just against the undead but also against any potential human threats. And let's not forget about mechanics. In a world where calling a professional to fix your generator or vehicle is not an option, having some practical know-how can save your life. Then there's knowledge of the environment. Familiarize yourself with the local area. Know your safe zones, your danger zones, and your escape routes. Understand the local flora and fauna. Are there plants that can be used for food or medicine? Are there dangerous animals to watch out for? This knowledge can help you thrive, not just survive, but we're not solitary creatures. We survive and thrive in communities. Establishing a network with other survivors is not just about having someone to talk to, although the importance of companionship in a world gone mad cannot be overstated. It's also about pooling resources and skills. Maybe you're good at hunting, but you don't know the first thing about medical care. In a good network, someone else will have that knowledge and can share it. Trade and barter is another important aspect of networking. You might have an abundance of one resource, 
but be lacking in another. Trading allows you to balance your supplies, ensuring everyone in your network has what they need to survive. Finally, remember that knowledge isn't static. It grows, it changes. You should always be learning, always be adapting. The world has changed and so must you. Remember, information is power. The more you know, the better your chances of survival. So keep learning, keep adapting, and keep surviving. In a world overrun by the undead, staying informed and having backup plans are vital. Knowledge is power, and in a survival situation, it can be the difference between life and death. Keeping abreast of developments about the zombie threat allows you to adapt your strategies as needed. This could be through radio broadcasts, scavenged newspapers, or even word of mouth from other survivors. While it's crucial to have a solid plan, it's equally important to have alternatives. The unpredictable nature of a zombie apocalypse means that what works today might not work tomorrow. Having backup plans for every scenario ensures that you're not left scrambling when things go awry. This could mean having multiple escape routes, alternative food sources, or different methods of communication. Surviving a zombie apocalypse is no easy task, but with the right plan and preparation, you can increase your chances of making it through. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more survival tips.